So next we are talking about the magic morph. So here if you go to your magic studio account here and there is an option to use magic morph. So basically magic morph will try to transform your elements like titles, any shape you selected from the Canva elements, then you will be able to transform that into a custom shape depends on your prompt. So how to use that? Just you need to select any element on your particular template and if you want to customize that, for example in this, I'm going to transform this as a 3D title. So how we, I can do that? Just select element first and see if it's compatible with the magic morph. So not all the elements are compatible with the magic morph. Well, for example, if I select this, it is not compatible yet. But the way they are updating their tool, then it will no longer be a problem. So let's select title and I want to add this as a three. And there is also, if you want to convert it to balloons, you want to convert to pumpkin and wood. So here I want to just select that as converting into the stars. So wait a minute because it will take a minute or two to render that out for you. So here it is. This is just not what we have wanted. For example, if I select this, okay, it's not at all that creative. Oh yes, it has added some shining stuff to it. Let's just replace this with this. Let's see if it's actually what we wanted. So it's not look bad. It's actually look really good. So if you want something like that, just go with the morph and it will add a custom functionality to it. So if we go browsing, keep on browsing here and select any element. If it's compatible with it, obviously it is not compatible. Let's select any other elements that are actually compatible with it. Okay, yeah, it's compatible with this. So I want to, you know, transform the element which is the thick as in balloons because yeah, let's just say inflated balloons. So here is the outcome. Okay, one is not getting transformed. So this looks really good if I just select that. Oh yeah, and place that in the place of the icon. Wow, so it's really look good. So that's how you can transform your elements in using the morph.